Traditionally associated with high-end vehicles, matte finishes are increasingly common among bodywork customization options. As professionals, you must master the preparation and application of matte paint in the body shop. Matte clear coats give the surface a micro roughness, so that the directed light that is reflected is dispersed in all directions, diminishing the perception of a glossy appearance. To obtain the level of gloss required for each repair, you will have to play with the mixture of the different clear coats. Take the product's technical data sheet as a reference to know the mixture ratio according to the percentage of gloss to be applied. Prepare the different mixtures combining matte and gloss clear coat based on the chart provided in the technical data sheet. Then apply each mixture to different paint test cards and compare with the surface to repair to find out which one is a better match in terms of gloss, colour and texture. It is advisable to keep the tests you carry out as they may be useful in future repairs. An alternative to this method would be to use a gloss meter, a tool designed to measure the light reflection and level of gloss of a surface. However, it is not widely used in body shops. First of all, the matte clear coat should be incorporated correctly beforehand, obtaining a uniform mixture of the combination of clear coats to be used. The use of an easy to apply smooth finish matte clear coat with excellent resistance to scratching and contact with hydrocarbons will be essential for obtaining an optimal finish. Adding the exact amount of hardener following the product's technical data sheet is crucial. An excess of hardener can lead to a higher gloss of the clear coat. Similarly, a mixture of matte clear coat with excess thinner will result in a thinner coat, which will also result in a lower gloss. Apply the matte clear coat evenly, trying to avoid clouding, leaps and overloads. Application factors such as the speed and movement of each coat, the distance between the gun and the part, or the adjustment of the application equipment will influence the final gloss level. A bad condition of the ventilation system in the cabin or an incorrect cleaning of the surface can cause the appearance of small specks and defects in the finish. It is important to keep the adjacent parts free from any traces of sprays, adhesives or surface particles since the surface cannot be polished due to the risk of changing the level of gloss of the part. Apply the matte clear coat to the whole part. It is not advisable to apply the blending technique as it can change the coat thickness of adjacent areas between parts. Remember that a surface with a matte finish cannot be polished. You should be extremely careful when applying some of the metallic or pearl colours as adjusting the level of gloss could be more complicated. A matte clear coat that is excessively thick will result in a surface with more gloss. A suitable thickness is in the region of 50 microns. In addition, an excessively wet application will result in less texture and too much final gloss. On the other hand, an excessively dry application will result in a non-uniform finish. The reflected gloss may vary depending on the plane of the part, whether vertical or horizontal. In order to obtain a uniform gloss, it is advisable to prepare a paint test card with the same colour and orientation as the part to be painted. It is essential to respect the evaporation times of the matte clear coat between layers. It should be noted that forced drying in the cabin will provide a higher level of gloss than that obtained with air drying. <laughs>